in the dressing room with Boban Simic. Boban, you're fighting tonight. Uh, talk to me a little bit about what you're going to be doing in that ring tonight. Uh, well, people know me from my MMA career, and I'm making a pro boxing debut, and I'm fighting another guy who's a MMA fighter who's also doing boxing now. So people know that I'm a heavy hitter. I got an iron jaw, and I got some heavy hands, and I got skills, and I'm an awkward fight fighter. I hit you from angles you've never seen before, so I'm going in there trying to knock him out. I heard he's got a good jaw. Maybe, maybe I won't drop him, but my aim is to go in there and knock him out and please the crowd, and everybody knows I'm an aggressive, exciting fighter, and I don't know what else to say. In the boxing arena, you said that you know, you're going into getting into boxing. Is this the first fight for you, or how many have you had? No, I've had uh, 20 amateur boxing matches. I've done Golden Gloves about four years ago. I won that. And so I've had boxing experiences. And even in my MMA career, I'm always sparring with pro boxers, some of the top pros. And I see how I can go with them. And like I said, I like to strike. Even in my MMA fights, I'm all about knocking the guy out. So why not give boxing a chance? Okay, what about the transition from uh, MMA to boxing and boxing to MMA? What is the difference? What is the big difference for you? Big difference? Less stuff I use. I don't have to worry about kicks. I can just worry about my hands. And uh, it's a, I don't know, boxing is more maybe like a chess game, I think, than MMA. MMA is kind of like adrenaline and use everything. I don't really know. It's a difference. It, this is hands. MMA is everything. And both have their their own thing to it, you know. What do you think your future would be in boxing? Uh, good. I don't see why, like I said, I have an iron jaw and I have heavy hands and I got skills and I don't see why I can't take it to the top. All right, good luck tonight. Thank we'll, you. We'll be watching along the way. Thanks. Back to Johnny Bellino. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring fight tonight out of the blue corner. Yeah, from Lake Odessa, Michigan, Kelly John Grummet. A record of one, one, and one out of three bouts. And that's an appropriate venue for Boban Simic, the Serbian menace, who's making his professional debut. Simic from Chicago Fight Club. Simic certainly looks menacing in those braids and that scruffy beard that he carries as his trademark. He says it's part of his religion. Simic is from Chicago Fight Club. Sponsors of tonight's bout. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here at the club with four rounds of boxing in a heavy is already an MMA participant. He lost a decision in his opening MMA bout, which uh, the crowd thought he had thoroughly won. So let's see if he takes it out on Caleb John Drummond. <laughs> True grip, Drummond and against Boban, the Serbian menace, Simic. Thank you. 
Simich in a ceremonial black and white set of trunks in grummet in more traditional yellow. So let's see if Simich is as ferocious in action as he looks. Here we go. to the face. This is his debut, and he takes a right hand in the first round of his debut here. He switches to a southpaw style, but uh, Grummet seems to score, all, not at will necessarily, but uh, when he's determined, he can throw him in there. Simic does not look phased, although it may have cost him a point. Simic takes some punches, but he comes back. Whether Grummet is actually hurting Simic is uh, questionable at this point. Simic continues to try to close on Grummet. His left hand is a little bit low when he starts his attack makes him vulnerable to right-hand counter punches. But he's being the muscle man here. There's no backing up so far from Boban Simic. Who did Floyd Mayweather Sr. fight? What big fights did he have? Did he fight Pizzi Pazienza? Simic takes some hits, but he comes on strong. He's got that Serbian determination. If he stays as strong, he may just neutralize Caleb John Grummet's opening strategy. fundamentally sound, hands above, protecting himself. But Simic seems to um, be indifferent to what protect protection that may afford. He wants to get in there. If he has to take one to give one, it seems like he'll do it. Oops. 
He outweighs uh, Bogromit by about 20 pounds. Simic came in at 222 or 232, and Gromit was 214 or 204. right hand by Grummet. That turned Simic's head a little ways and uh, forestalled his advance. Had him hesitate for a second, straighten him up a bit. Simic recovers and keeps coming back. Point-wise, so far, Grummet has the advantage. There's another left hand by Grummet. The right hand by Grummet that catches Simic. Simic ties Grummet up. He refuses to retreat. He comes right back into Grummet. There's a left hand by Simic. Grummet keeps his arms tight. looks a little slower, but he still has some power. It's a nice left hand by Simic, but uh, Grummet comes back before retreating with a right hand. Simic actually is driving him back and into the ropes. He's got that 20, 30 pound advantage and he's taking use of it. His left hand and right hand by Simic. Grummet comes back. There's a right hand by Grummet that slows up Simic, but Simic recovers quickly and keeps coming as the round ends. tries to close some uh, shots. Simic keeps his uh, hands close to his head. He takes a left hand by Simic as Simic drives in. Grummet, the strategic fighter, fundamentally sound. Simic, the relentless Serbian.
referee Dave Smith ordering the corner to take a look at that wound that apparently is over Grummet's left eye. It's not, and that's enough to stop it. From this side of the ring, it was hard to see, but that was enough for Dave Smith, and he stopped his fight. So Boban Simic wins his first bout. to 30 pounds. That finally told the story. Boban, yeah, first pro fight, good yeah. win. You know, did you want to end the way it did, the stoppage on the cut? No, I did not at all. I wanted to not come out, knock out. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later, I was going to knock him out, but I didn't want to get stopped with a, I had a disappointing look in my, in my face. Was it a difficult fight for you? <laughs> No, I just, uh, like I said, it's my first pro fight. I had to get some kinks out. I'm so much, like, I spar a lot better. I was a little sloppier than I wanted to be. And uh, I could have I could have ended up quicker. Because I saw the guy didn't have power to hurt me. When he hit me in the jaw, I was like, okay, I'm not going to get hurt by this guy, but let me sharpen up a little bit. But I got good trainers with me, working with me, so it's going to it's gonna get better, a little less sloppy. Because I'm, I'm, I have more uh, skills than that, but I was a little, like I said, my first pro uh, fight, getting some kinks out. Next time I'm coming sharp, I'm knocking him out faster than that. Well, you say you had, you know, you were a little sloppy. Was it because you were over eager to try to get out there and get the win? Yeah, to get and I was in a rush here trying to, like, uh, get my hands down real quick and everything. It was just, uh, yeah, it was just, I had to gain some kinks out. I'll be a lot sharper, and uh, like I said, I, I didn't feel the punches. I knew it was going to knock them out sooner or later. And uh, I'm going to show some more skills, some more angles, some more stuff. I'm going to work on it with my uh, coach, Fernando, and my team, and I hope my uh, partner Antonio wins so we can all have a win at uh, Chicago Fight Club. And you guys, I, nobody, I want to see somebody drop me. I have an iron jaw, and uh, it's always going to be a fight with me, no matter who it is. I don't care who you put me with. Coach Fernando, your feelings about the fight tonight? Like I said, it's still a, it's still a work in progress, but uh, you know I'm proud of the outcome. You know I don't want him to be so hard on himself. It was a guy, hard guy to fight. He was a little sloppy. They both got MMA experience, so uh, you know it's 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 all a matter of getting acclimated, getting adjusted. He'll he'll do better each fight. I'm you know I'm proud of him. He graduated today. I want to send a special thanks out to Cynthia and Wasfi Tolemat for all they've done at Chicago Fight Club and put on a good Thank fight you, at Cynthia, you, CFC LLC. 
I'm excited about boxing. I want you guys to see me a lot more. Boxing, it's where it's at. Good luck to you. Take Good care. Way.